What's going on YouTube, your boy Mr. Crazy1870 and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my review and thoughts of the Apple Magic trackpad. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that it's very, very thin. Here on the side, you got your battery compartment, same exact thing as the Apple Wireless keyboard. And on the other side, you got your power button. That's where you're going to go ahead and hit when you power on the actual device. Now here at the bottom, it's also very, very similar. Uh, to the Apple wireless keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and post a picture right up there. I'll uh, just kind of demonstrate to you guys uh, and for you guys for you guys to compare uh, the wireless keyboard to the trackpad. So very, very nice. You got your nice Apple wireless. You got your nice Apple logo there at the bottom. Now, as far as the design goes, it just looks very, very nice on your desk. Another cool thing is that it just really does not take too much uh, desk room on your desk. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick tour on some of the features that you can go ahead and use surfing the web and you're using the actual Apple Magic trackpad. So let's go right ahead and jump into this. So here you got your pointer. Just go ahead and just move your finger like I'm doing it right now. You got your, you also got your right click. You guys see that? You also got your tap. I have it at the feature where you just tap to right click or just go ahead and tap to click. Uh, you also got your click and drag. Uh, you also have your two finger scrolling like I'm doing right now. You also have your pinch to zoom. Same thing as the iPhone 4. Very useful. Uh, then you also have another feature where you're going to go ahead and go do a screen zoom where you're basically going to go ahead and uh, hold your control on your keyboard and use your two fingers, scroll, uh, zoom in and out, zoom in and out. You got your page back forward. So that's very, very useful. You also have your switch applications where you're basically going to go ahead and use your four fingers and swipe them like that. This is very, very useful. Uh, it just, you know, just saves a lot of time. You go ahead and hit your mail, your Twitter, ScreenFlow, Safari, uh, whatever you need to do. So it's, it's very, very useful. You could also just go ahead and activate Expose where you're going to go ahead and use your four fingers and there you go. That's so nice. So, so I really, really found the Apple Magic Trackpad to be very, very useful and comfortable. Uh, when it comes to video editing, I just felt it very, very comfortable. Um, I would rather, now, now again, this all has to do uh, with personal preference. Uh, not everybody's going to feel the same way like me. But this is the way I feel and just my experience with the Apple Magic Trackpad. Uh, I just really, really felt it to be uh, a little bit more comfortable than uh, when it comes to editing to use the Apple Magic trackpad instead of the Apple uh, uh, Apple Magic mouse. Uh, for some reason, I just felt it more comfortable. Now, um, I just didn't. Now, I could, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When it comes to editing, um, I felt with the Magic mouse, I felt my hand really, really get tired uh, for some reason. Now, I've been using Apple Magic trackpad. I didn't feel my hand to get as tired as a Magic mouse would. So. It all depends. Uh, personal preference, I think $69.99 is absolutely worth the money. Uh, it just really, really does not clutter up your desk. And it also just makes your desk look really, really nice. I also found the Apple Magic Trackpad to be really, really useful. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's just, you know, it's just really not a, 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 a necessary thing. Yeah, it's not a necessary thing. I mean, if you have the money and you just want to go ahead and just you know and you need it and just try it out and you like it then go ahead and get it but I mean, you really do not you know it's not a, a mandatory thing that you have to get but overall it's a very very nice accessory uh, to add with all your Apple devices uh, especially if you have an iMac you know what I mean uh, if you have a, a MacBook Pro uh, I just really really enjoyed it and you know I'm really really happy with it I have really had a very very good experience when it comes to the Apple magic trackpad Overall, that's my quick review and thoughts of the Apple Magic Trackpad. If you have the Apple Magic Trackpad, go ahead and give me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Because um, to tell you the truth, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I, I just It was just really, really nice experience for me. And 
you know I really recommend it to anybody if you just search this video and you know you're watching my video you know I just you know I just really really enjoyed it so I really recommend you go ahead and just try it out for yourself uh, that's the only way that you're gonna you know make up your mind so overall that's me your boy mr. crazy one eight seven zero follow me on Twitter twitter.com slash mr. crazy one eight seven zero please don't forget to like comment subscribe yes have a good one lates